Russian media reported that the U.S. allegedly shared intelligence with European allies, including a map outlining an alleged buildup of Russian troops near the Ukrainian border. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov told the media recently that the alleged impending Russian invasion of Ukraine was absurd. According to Peskov, Moscow has watched with concern as NATO has helped Ukraine strengthen its military. Russia considers the U.S. deliberately campaigning false information on the alleged invasion of Ukraine. Several American newspapers are actively involved in this. By slowly increasing tensions, efforts are made to become real and present the Russian Federation as a party that threatens the settlement process, a Russian spokesman told reporters. It is known that Ukraine is building its military power, the U.S. is suspected of being actively involved in building Ukraine's power, with a large supply of weapons including modern high-tech weapons, and all this of course the Russian defense judges that the U.S. is looking for big influence in Ukraine. Earlier in the day, Russian Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zaharova said that unsubstantiated reports appearing in Western media claiming that Moscow was using the current migration crisis to attack Ukraine were nothing more than a myth. This comes after a Bloomberg exclusive said that American officials had shared intelligence with European allies that included a map outlining an alleged buildup of Russian troops near the Ukrainian border. According to the report, the intelligence shared allegedly indicated the location of Russian ammunition stockpiles intended to be used during the rapid and massive push into Ukraine from multiple locations should President Putin decide to strike. This information was reportedly passed on by the U.S. government to several of its NATO allies as evidence that Russia was planning an invasion of Ukraine. Russia has repeatedly denied accusations that it was planning an invasion. Russia's commander-in-chief previously said that those who took their armed forces abroad are now accusing us of unusual military activity in our own territory.